playing a wide variety of traditional old time, modern bluegrass and American folk. Let's welcome New River Train. Well, it's so good to have New River Train here on Locals Live. That was really fun. I forgot how much fun bluegrass music is. Thank you very much. Now, the first thing that comes to mind is how did five bluegrass lovers find each other in San Diego? Well, you want to feel that or you want me to feel that? Uh, well, I, well we, can, we can both say something. Yeah. Um, we both kind of, a lot of us actually kind of knew each other for a long time just from other bands that we were in and just from being friends. And then, I don't know, how did you guys start picking together? Um, and well, originally Rosie and I met, and we kind of sang a few songs together, and then kind of one by one we pieced the band together, um, just kind of from here and there, kind of friends that we knew that were musicians, and not so much even started playing bluegrass, but kind of uh, just culminated as a band, as a bluegrass band. So. I guess so. I kind of grew up listening to country music with my my folks, and uh, it's just kind of a familiar music, and it's really fun to play. So <laughs> I guess that's kind of how I came to. And Rosie Dawn, you know, musicians can go in any direction. Right. How did you get into bluegrass? Well, Rosie, Rosie's a musician who goes in every direction. Yeah, I try. But actually, I think Josh is the one who kind of first got me into listening. I mean, I always like heard it as a child and always liked it and stuff. But I think Josh was the one that kind of gave me a lot of influence in it. So that's when I started listening to it more and then wanting to sing it a little bit. So, Is it more difficult to play bluegrass than rock and roll or a different style of music? You know what? I think all musics are hard to play. Bluegrass, it's usually fairly basic uh, chord progressions and things like that, but I think to actually master it is, is another thing, and it is really tough. Again. Being that it's yeah. acoustic, too, it's definitely like, you know, you can't really cover things up so much. You hear, you hear everything, so. Yeah. And how are the audiences here in San Diego responding to your music? 
They like it a lot. Like, I actually, a lot of young folks are really responsive. Like, I didn't expect that so much. A lot of people our age and younger really like it a lot. Yeah, so I think you'd be really surprised at how many bluegrass fans there actually are in San Diego. I mean, there's a um, this Southern California Bluegrass Association. There's the San Diego Bluegrass Club, and I mean, there's a whole plethora of people who play bluegrass music. Whether they play the bass, the banjo, man, and then everybody kind of gets together. And then it's the great thing about the music is that a lot of the songs everybody knows. Everyone's been playing since you know the early days of traditional and bluegrass music and, and a lot of the songs are very familiar, a lot of people know them. So you can kind of get a, get a group together and play even though you, you would have never played with people before. Tonight we've enjoyed a variety of musical styles, from flamenco fusion to folk to bluegrass. And these are all local artists that you can see right here in San Diego next time you're out on the town. Thank you so much for joining us tonight on Locals Live. I'm Jodina. See you next time. Remember what you said, darling.